What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L. Eats. Woo, woo, woo. It's time to knock some dust. Let's get into it. What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L. Eats. Woo, woo, woo. In the sense. Tweezy Flex. And today, y'all, I surprised Tweezy Flex. With a meal. Okay, you know how you hear um, country fried steak? This is turkey country fried steak. Turkey country fried steak. Yeah. I'm trying not to bleep myself out, but it's turkey country fried steak, rice, mushroom gravy, and some um, squash. squash. Squash and onions. You excited? Good. I'm excited, y'all. We're going to say our prayer and get it in. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, bless up with this food for the nourishment of our bodies. Let it give us health, strength, and knowledge and everything you would have of us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? What's going on, everybody? We hope good. Yes, see, yes, see, yes, see. Turkey country fried steak. I'm not going to look at him. It tastes like country fried steak. It tastes like country. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. It's all right. And see, yeah. I didn't put a lot of gravy on it because I wanted y'all to be able to actually see it. You know, if I had a smothered it in gravy, then you would not have been able to actually see it. So this is how it looks. I'm trying to. That's very good. Oh, I'm sorry, boo. Okay. Ah, oh, pop my shoulder. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you didn't tell me, if you didn't tell me it was turkey, I'd be like, why are you fishing me this? You know I don't eat it. <laughs> I did good then, y'all. It don't taste like no turkey. I'm sorry. I fried it in extra olive, extra virgin olive oil. And it is good, y'all. I'm shocked. This is my first time making it. Mm. That's what he eats, so I got to kind of change it up a little bit for him. <laughs> That's good. We never left the house for the first time in a couple of days. <laughs> Been stuck in the house. It was snow. I yeah. left out the day before, but yeah, he left and went to the stove for me and all that stuff. When it's snow, I don't want to dry. Now I'll be in a hurry to try to get home. When I see it snowing, but I don't be wanting to actually go drive in it. Like, let me just go ride around. Mm -hmm. And we got, we got how many inches of snow? Oh, no. It was, for us, it was a lot. <laughs> seven inches, I believe it was. Six or seven. Wow. I'm just not sure the exact amount, but it was either six or seven. That's a lot. Do it snow a lot where y'all at? Comment down below. Cause it's rare for us. It's rare. South Carolina is rare. So when you do, we panic. This might be only the second time since we've been together. Yeah, cause it don't it don't snow like that. That's why a lot of people like moving to the south because it ain't that much snow. Surprised us. <sighs> Did some donuts in the parking lot yesterday. You did donuts. <laughs> <laughs> One dude. It went on purpose, right? You went. No, it was on purpose. It was on purpose. Yeah, he got a little. He got a little truck. You hear me, little truck. He got a little <laughs> truck trying to do donuts. There's one dude doing them. 
in the parking lot and he got stuck. When showing off goes wrong. <laughs> One of his buddies had to pull him out. This is good though. Now this has been a perfect time to have four wheelers. You know what, you're right. You are right. It's good. Yeah, he said he was hungry. He put that turkey out. I said, hold on. <laughs> Let me figure something out right quick. I about to grind it up and make some tacos. I said, I, I'm thinking about something. Let me try something else. He went in there and started playing the game. Do them kids got a hammer up there? Probably AJ. <laughs> Ain't no telling with him. But I said, let me try something else. Cause he been eating a food lot of tacos. <laughs> he been tearing them tacos up. I grind up the turkey, taco seasoning, low carb tortitos. Eat them up. Yeah, he be tearing them low carb tortillas up. <laughs> it's a tortito. It ain't the chips. Nah. It's the tortillas. Tortillas. I was like, mm mm. Not today. Let, let's try something else, Pooh. <laughs> so, I got it. I got it. So he didn't even know I was making this. I seen him in there looking back like, you ain't finished yet. I guess he said, my food would have been finished. If I, you had let me go on and make my food. <laughs> this is supposed to wait. What made you think of I don't know. <laughs> well, I was frying some chicken, air frying some chicken with the House of Entree crispy chicken bag. Mm -hmm. I know y'all like dog queen. You be using all kinds of stuff. Yes, I do. This is my first time using the House of Entree, Entree crispy chicken bag okay. on it. So, like I told y'all when I said two ingredient, one ingredient. The only reason why I said two ingredient was because I was counting the chicken. The chicken and the bread. So I was saying two ingredients. But then some of my subscribers was confused at what's the other ingredient. Because <laughs> they're like, Queen L, it's obvious that chicken, if you're saying air fried chicken, chicken is obvious. So you're saying two ingredients. So I changed it to one ingredient but you know the video is still gonna say two ingredients but it's just the bag or the mix and the chicken i use just the house of entree crispy chicken bag crispy chicken and the chicken that's it so i'm gonna try it i'm gonna see if it's crispy y'all <laughs> this is good y'all mm -hmm. and, and the um Excuse me. Oh, you burping hard. Mm. And then the squash with the onions made it even better. I'm gonna try this chicken. We're gonna see if it's really crispy. But yeah, don't put no seasoning or nothing on it. Even on that one. I ain't put no seasoning on that one either. Just, just the house of entree. Chicken bread or mix. I tried to get that um Louisiana chicken bread or mix that one of my subscribers was telling me about. I tried. I didn't see it though. I didn't see it. What's going on? You done. <laughs> you done ate it up. Hmm? I was waiting on that little piece. I said, as soon as I finish the oh, chicken, I'm. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What are you talking about? Let's see. My food. Okay, we're going to see if it's crispy, y'all. Oh. 
what tastes better? Them or the Louisiana? Honest, honest. Yes. Louisiana. This right here. Need seasoning. I need to season it first, then mm -hmm. shake it up in it. I only taste a little bit of salt. Okay. Which ain't bad. Listen. If you know you can't eat no whole lot of salt, this it. Cause it ain't nasty, but it ain't flavorful. Yeah. Flavorful. If you yeah, like if you like to have flavors, just saying, what's up? Okay, no worry about it. Or if you want to do this and then add you some little barbecue sauce to dip in it, you don't need no season. Oh, you got that red hot chili. What is it? One, I, the one I like, the chili. Yeah, red hot. Yeah, red hot chili. Red hot, sweet and sweet chili. Yeah, right. Yeah, sweet. Chili. I think it is sweet chili. Now, if I had that, I ran out. <laughs> but if I had that, I would. I would not use. Salt and, I mean, you know, salt and pepper seeds, mm -hmm. salt and all that stuff. I wouldn't use that. Because I'd be dipping in that. But it's okay. But that Louisiana. And Louisiana, where is it? They know what they're doing. <laughs> but I've always heard that Louisiana, it, they are heavy on the seasoning. Oh, yeah. Like they serious about stuff being seasoned correctly. It's crunchy. Which one more crunchy? That's a hard one. Both of them equal. Just about equally crunchy. Now. When you're making these. Halfway through, like I said, if you got little white spots on it, put a little water on it. Do shake it up <laughs> so that the chicken can flip over. The reason why I say that, that way you can get an even brown. Mm. Because if you leave it right there the whole 32 minutes, on the bottom, it ain't going to have that even brownness. So shake it, you know, get your basket. Don't do it like you, like you crazy. Cause then you're gonna probably mess some up. You know, somebody the handle gonna might end up breaking. You never know. I don't want you to break it after fry. <laughs> but just shake it a little bit or get you a, a fork or something. Don't do it with your hand because them air fryers are something serious when it comes to getting burnt. Get your fork and flip it over. <laughs> that meat be hot. Hot for a long time. Mm-hmm. Give yourself about three minutes for it to sit on. I show it to sit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now it's good. But like I said, it's not flavorful like that Louisiana. I would choose the Louisiana over that. But if I house the ultra crispy is what's in the store for dollar eighty seven cent. Season it up. Just put you some seasoning on it. Get you a little lower. Which one more? The Louisiana? The Louisiana, a little bit more, not much. It's two dollars and some change. It's smaller though, ain't it? It's a bag. Both of them are little bags. Make sure you look for crispy down. If you want it crispy, make sure you look for crispy on that bag. If you don't have if you don't see crispy, it's not gonna be <laughs> what I was just eating. Mm -hmm. Um But if you know you don't want a lot of salt, like I said. House of Autry, crispy. Get you some of that red hot. That's the name of the brand. Red hot sweet, sweet chili. chili. I towed that up when I was pregnant with AJ. <laughs> I towed it up. She ate it the whole time. I ate it the whole time. I was just <laughs> dipping everything in. I had some, try some fried mushrooms. If you got an air, air fryer, fried mushrooms out of that freezer section. It's a little box. Yeah. Get them fried mushrooms. Mm -mm. Put them in the air fryer. About 10 minutes. 
They be so crispy. But I ate them with the sweet chili sauce too, don't you? He turned it up. I tan everything up with that sweet chili sauce. <laughs> it was good. Mm hmm. Oh, fool. Mm hmm. But yeah, y'all. Mm, this is my only meal day too. What? I'm gone all day. You have he been busy. Dealing with that snow and stuff. Oh man. Dealing with snow. I'm happy for the people who was riding around helping other people. It was like people out there just because it wasn't enough workers. Yeah. Actual city workers. So it was People just out there riding around. You yeah, need help. Yeah. You need help. You need help. So that was a beautiful thing to see. And then when I looked on social media, I seen what they said. If you need me, let me know. I, I go to work at 3 o'clock. So now and up to 1 o'clock, I can help you. After that, I got to get ready for work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. QT, gas station. They didn't do no shoving. It was straight ice at that desk. They wanted you to slide into the stove. <laughs> I said, what? Yeah, straight ice. They was wrong for that. I, I would have thought them out of all people would shove it. But like the way this one positioned, they counted on the downward hill. And then they got that big thing that's covering most of the park. So I think the sun wasn't able to get to it. That's so what it, it was. So it stayed hard. Mm-hmm. Longer than the other spot. That shade. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He right. So I drove, I went to put some air in the tire, drove towards the back, and there's one of the small cars, one of the smart cars, but it's sliding on by. What? Just look at light as a feather. <laughs> look at this. It wasn't so small, you could pick it up and body slam it if you was mad. Pick it. I can lift it. I'm <laughs> probably gonna lift it. Mm, 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 mm. I tell you. But yeah, y'all, snow is not no joke. I mean, snow is beautiful, but it's the ice that scares everybody. And we don't be prepared for it down here because we don't get it like that. Mm -hmm. But the city don't be prepared for it. Definitely don't. They don't put no salt down or nothing. I don't think they have none on hand. The, we ain't got the, all the trucks that's needed to clear the roads out. The back roads is some still bad. I drove on a back road a day and it was still bad. So that's why they said do e learning with the kids because they said these buses can't be going on them back roads to get the kids. You did a great job today. I see how you stayed upstairs and chilled out. I didn't chill. Mm -mm. You been upstairs? Yeah, thank you, baby. <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> he back on the fool out there, flow. I didn't want it back <laughs> I washed like four loads of clothes, folded all four. I got loaded in the dryer. Okay. It got to be pulled and folded. Yeah. That's all Laid right. In the bed. While I was down there saying, if Johnny had two apples. <laughs> Yeah, them kids are tearing my nerves up so bad. There ain't no point both of us being on something else had to get done. Had to split the work. They were tearing my nerves up so bad. Because, see, I had Adrian and Kenzie at the same time while AJ was running around doing everything, trying to close their computer. Let's play. Oh, that's why he told me y'all, I mean, he came upstairs with me. And he's like, I said, what's wrong? They being mean. They being mean. It wasn't that. Who being me? I said, who being me? AJ, the king, mama. I said, all three of them being me to you. We weren't trying said, to. What's wrong with them? Come on, son. Go well, he me. came right on back down. So he didn't stay up that long. That boy doing everything. All I heard was, ah, what? Adrian, AJ got hit me with that car. That little car. Then she, ah, got a computer. That, my nerves tore up down there. Then while I was helping him do that, I was doing Leah Hat at the same time. 
I was giving her an individual twist. So I was going through it. But at least, at least he back in the flow. <laughs> I appreciate you. Had all kind of little lines in the flow. Thank you. That, that meant he was really vacuuming. No comment. <laughs> nah, he did good. I'm I'm happy he did get them loads of clothes done. I am, because them kids, they were going through clothes, going outside. They were putting on so many layers to go out there to build snowmans. So, yes, yes. Clothes got dirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. We appreciate y'all for stopping by. Don't forget to uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Q and T channel as well. So like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified when we upload our newest videos. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Peace out.